this is supercharge number 2363 on the original battery pack and motor. All right, this is for model X or S. If you have the cabin air filter, when they all, and they all do, they all have it, not the HEPA. I wasn't sure if I could do this or not, and I kind of started work ahead of time because this is the hardest thing to take off. If you got this air filter, you can get it from Tesla or you can get it from somewhere else, I think. Basically, it goes behind the glove box. You got to remove the glove box. You got to remove this big panel of trim. You got to remove this side panel, and there's a piece underneath, too, that you have to pull down which is actually not that hard to do. Uh -oh. I heard something fall out of there. Maybe it was just dirt. But you can see how it's held on my clips. The other one that is hard to get out, actually all those clips look good, is this one. And whatever you do, for me watching videos on YouTube, I have figured out the secret for you guys. So you be glad you're here. Do not start on this end. Whatever you do, do not. You've got to start here. You got to start pulling this way and pulling out. So when you pull this way and pull out, you pull all the clips, which are holding it in. And I think I pulled all of them out. It's by going like this. This is the hardest part. And if you pull this end first, what you do is you take all the pressure off of here. Then you're somehow trying to continue. I've seen people trying to continue across. It doesn't work. You might end up snapping this part off of it. So that's why you don't want to do that. And let's open the glove box. My glove box is a mess. There's upper and lower clips, I think. I see some people using tools. I don't think you need to use them. Look, I just did that one-handed because I've... <laughs> So, like I said, at first I started the clips over here. There's lots of clips, as you can see. Lots of clips over on that side. Start those first. Then work your way around. You can do it one-handed. You don't need tools. So you can thank me later or give me a good comment. The other part besides the glove box that needs to come out is this part right here. I'm not sure if I can do this one-handed or not. You just need to pry this a little bit that way. Actually, even though I've seen people remove this in videos, you may not need to remove it. I have a feeling you might not. Clean out your glove box, get your T20s, one, two, three, four, five, something like that. I can't remember how many, you'll see in a second. And then pull the glove box out. So here's the view inside the glove box. There's a light, so it's gonna be wired up. And like I said, you've got these T20s to pull out. Make sure you don't drop them. So this is number five. There's six all together. Last one in over here. So like I mentioned, please don't lose any. It might be held on by this. I see it's, yeah, see, so yeah, it is held on by that. You gotta pull that off. Easy enough to pop off. And then pull a box out, just kind of cast it aside. You don't have to read, you don't have to take off any of the wires. We are trying to go back in here. There is there's a cover. You see this long rectangle to cover. And in this part over here, you can see there's two little squeeze tabs. Squeeze them down together, top and bottom, and it comes off, see? So that cover comes off, and then we can pull out the old filter. It only goes in one way. You don't have to worry about putting it in the wrong way or anything. Doesn't look too bad. I might keep this. <laughs> Actually, I've got the HEPA filter, so mine's not gonna be as bad as other ones. This is more like a secondary filter, but I think I'm gonna keep this, yet re still replace it with uh, the new one. Here's what the new one looks like. It looks like it might even be dirtier than the old one. That's the old one. This is the new one. 
before I forget which is which, I'm gonna just slide it in. It's in there. There's the tab that goes into it. Just move this across until it snaps into place and reverse order of removal. That's it. So easy, isn't it? Again, this is the, this is the challenging part on the trims. Don't break it. Put, put it in gently. I'll show you how it goes in that last part. Before I forget, here is the part numbers you need for the Tesla part. And this it is carbon activated too. So maybe that's why it looks dirty coming out. These little tabs, little plastic tab seat, go, they go in here. It'll hold this thing in the place before you start screwing it. And just screw it and put that panel back on. Last screw of the six. This goes back in only one way. You can see that side goes in here. Got all my glove box junk back in there. Keep it closed. And let's, we'll do this one last. We'll do reverse order removal. This is gonna be the one you're gonna have to line up just right. Okay. It's not really hard to mess up, but just be careful. I'm one-handing this because I've got the camera on. Let's see over here. So you can see how the, the clips only go in the holes one way here. It's not gonna be that difficult. So lightly put them in. When you do that, the whole thing lines up. And like I said, this is the most difficult part. This will line up too. Only in a certain way it's gonna go in, and it goes in this way, this way, like back to front. Just keep that in mind. Don't go in sideways. Well, well, let's see. Hopefully I didn't miss any of the clips. This feels out. I'm gonna have to put the camera down for a second. I had to break these clips, clips loose again. I gotta put the camera down, but get this part in here on the bottom first, then do this secondary. So line this up and push it, remember, front to back, front to back, not sideways in, front to back. I did it wrong again. I gotta break it loose again. This is the hardest part. Right in here, there's a, there's a clip. You see it in there? Okay, you see the clip? Down in there, that clip right there, it's a lot of focus. You know what I'm saying, right? Right there. That clip has to go in over here. So do that one first. Okay, now with a lot of finagling, is that a word? I think so. I finally got it in. A bunch of hand pounding. It was harder to get this thing in than it was to take it off. You saw how I just pulled the clips off. That's how it was the first time. If you pull in the right direction, which is when you're pulling off front to back, and when you're putting it back on, back to front, not sideways. Just remember that. Here's the last piece of the whole thing. Oh, this doesn't look lined up still. I think it's a clip that's still not in on that one. All right, that's it. Let me know if I missed anything. Say thank you in the comments. If you got some value, of course, like it. Subscribe to the channel. See you next video. Bye.